How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial series we're gonna take a look at Phoenix Kage Disu's Alpha ABS battle system. Um, the reason why I'm starting this tutorial series now is because he's officially released the beta version for everybody to download. So I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get the beta version of Phoenix Kage Disu's Alpha ABS beta version. So click that link. You're going to be put to this page. You're going to scroll down until you see a post from Phoenix Kage Disu that says beta 1 versions released. You can download it with a demo. Click on the download button. It's not a direct download, but it will take you to a GitHub where you can access a uh, direct download. So in order to get that, you click on clone or download and you click on download zip. That's going to uh, download the, a zip file that contains everything in here, which is the, the demo folder, the plugins folder, and the readme file. Once you've got that downloaded, you're going to go to um, wherever you want it to be extracted. You're going to uh, right click and extract the files and you'll be presented with this folder, Alpha ABS Master. So go into that master project, and here's the things we downloaded. So Alpha ABS Demo, we're going to go into that folder. We're going to double-click Game.RPG Project. That's going to open up the, the demo. Now, first of all, I think you should go through this entire demo. Uh, make sure that you have an understanding of what the system is about. If you've already watched my other video, uh, my live stream on this, then you kind of have an idea of... of of how it works and you can kind of bypass that but just go through the, the 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 demo it'll give you a brief tutorial and it explains things decently well uh, also you can access the help file inside of this alpha underscore abs for future reference and it's been uh i've updated it and and uh, phoenix kage disu has also put in a lot of information and and uh, i've added some things as well so once you've gone through the demo and or have a basic understanding of what this system is and how it works, the first thing we're going to have to do is copy some resources that the Alpha ABS demo is using into your project. Now, if this is a new project that you're working on, excellent. If not, you're going to want to back up your project just in case you mess up one of these steps because we all make mistakes uh, and... Uh, definitely want to back up your project even if you're not doing anything drastic because you never know what what could happen you could lose your hard drive all kinds of bad stuff okay now that i've warned you to back up your your game what we're going to do is we're going to go uh game open folder for your game you're also going to go into the phoenix kagadisu's uh, alpha abs system game open folder so that's going to leave us with two open folders so we're going to have our game, which I've labeled tutorials, and we're going to have the master project, which is labeled demo. So what we need to do is copy some of the data from, from the master project to your game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the data folder. We're going to left click the top, hold shift, and left click the bottom. We're going to right click and copy all this. Now, it's important. You go into the data here. We're not overwriting anything. We're not going to overwrite a single file. We're going to just paste the files that we don't have in our project. So we're going to right click and we're going to paste, but we're going to say don't copy for the ones that have already got it. Like map info, you can mess up your project if you overwrite with this project. So we're going to do this for the next 14 conflicts and we're going to say don't copy. So now it's only copied and paste, uh, pasted the files that were not already uh, presented, not already in your data's folder. So everything it was missing has been added to the project, but it's not overwriting any of the files. You can see the ones that are highlighted are, are added. In your case, you'll probably have more than 14 if you're uh, in an existing project. The, these, uh, this is added map files because it's a new project. So we'll probably get rid of those maps in game, but that's no big deal. We've got our English version folder, uh, with the, the JSONs for English, and we've got our Russian version for the Russian ones. If you're trying to minimize how much space your game is taking up, and you know you're only going to run it in English, you can delete the Russian version here. However, um, I would recommend keeping both, just in case you encounter some sort of uh, cannot find file. Alright, so the, the same we're going to do the same thing, basically, for the fonts. Uh, we're going to go into here in the fonts, and we're going to uh, select them all, copy. We're going to paste into into here. We're not going to we're going to select don't copy for anything that has a conflict. 
even though it would be the same file, uh, just a good habit. We're not overriding any of our existing files. We're only adding the things that we're missing. Icon should be the same. IMG, I'm sure we're going to have some uh, IMG things to, to add. So uh, first thing to notice is that in the demo project, we have a folder called ABS. So we're definitely going to need these graphics. So we're going to right click this folder and we're going to paste it. And you most likely won't have a folder called ABS, but if you do, you need to add all of the files from the demo project to your master here. We're also going to have a few more things. If we look, we have 18 items here. If we look over here, we only have 15 items. So we're obviously missing some stuff. So we can uh, do the same thing if we want, but there's a lot of files in our IMG. So what we're going to do is just uh, pinpoint the ones we're missing. So we'll scroll down and we can see that all of this has been added so far, but icons, there's icons in IMG. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste that over. So we've got ABS added. We've got icons added, parallaxes, pictures, picture stack. We're going to copy that folder, paste that in here. There's our picture stack. And now we can see we have 17 over here. We have 18 over here. So there's one more. So we'll scroll down until we find weathers and we're going to copy that and paste this. Uh, once again, we're not overwriting any of our files. We're only adding the files that we're missing. So then we still have a, another step to do. We have to go into our JS plugins folder. We're going to take all the plugins that are in here. We're going to copy these and we're going to paste them over here. Once again, we're not going to be overwriting anything. Um, and if you already have some of these like... Uh, Yanfly's uh, window, where is it at? I saw a Yanfly plugin, uh, Message Core. Um, this is an older version, slightly out of date last time I checked it. Um, so if you have up to date uh, Yanfly plugins, uh, you definitely don't want to overwrite with a, a older version. This works perfect for the project, but you might want to update it to the most recent version. I'll put a link in the description for the Message Core. Um, the Terex lighting seems to be up to date the last time I checked it. Um, it was actually a version uh, more recent than the version that I was using. So I did update that on my other game. But now we've got our uh, plugins. We've got um, our image files. But we also have movies. I don't understand uh, where they're being called. But we need to add those. So we're going to go into the movies folder for the demo project. Copy those. And paste those into our project. So now we've added the resources that we're going to need. Um, there could possibly be audios, uh, sound effects that need, to, that need to be added. Um, but I think they should be uh, added already. Let's double check. So we're going to paste five files. No, okay. So I was wrong. You need to add the audio for BGM. Uh, copy the one B, uh, audio file for background sound. We don't need to overwrite anything. We just need to make sure that we have whatever's uh, in the demo project because it'll be called for. And if it can't find the file, it's gonna simply crash. So uh, those two, we don't need to check. So it was only background music. Uh, all of this is, is probably already added, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a shot anyway by pasting it here. We're gonna say, don't do this for the next 56 conflict, 57 conflicts. And we're gonna say, don't copy. But, um, okay, apparently it's only these background musics that you need to add. But it doesn't hurt to give it a shot and uh, see if you're missing a file. Because you'll have to come back in here later on when the game crashes because it can't find a file if you don't do that. Okay, so that's a lot to take in, I understand. But that's basically what you do to get the project started. Um, you're going to want to do another thing inside your project. So we're going to open up the demo project. Um, we're going to go to... Uh, the plugin manager, we're going to select all the plugins. We'll copy that. You may not want to add the dev one. You don't need to copy the dev one. We're going to copy the other ones though by highlighting all of these plugins. Copy them. Okay, now we're going to go into, we'll hit OK. We're going to go into our, um, our project that we're going to add the ABS system to. We're going to just paste. There we go. It makes it a lot easier and they're in the same order so you don't have to worry about any, any problems with putting them in the right order or adding them one at a time. The, if you use this method, you'll get set up in under 10 minutes and uh, you'll be ready to start learning how to add the note tags into the database. One last thing I'll uh, show you how to do is if you want to add the templates for um, the skills, 
it wouldn't be a bad idea because how you set up your skills, we're going to learn in future tutorials, that you're basically just adding note tags. And there's a, a large plethora of note tags you can add, but they all have a default value. So you don't actually have to add like 10 or 12 note tags to every skill. They'll be assigned a default value unless they're given a different value with the note tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did with our plugins. We're going to left click the top, we're going to scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to select all of the template skills because even if we, uh, we got them all highlighted by using the shift key, and we're going to copy those. Even if we don't use all of these, we can look at them to see how they're, how they're functioning. These are going to be our template skills that we're going to replace. So. Um, it's not like we're, we're stealing skills, right? He's, he's distributing this for learning purposes, and that's exactly what we're going to do with it. So we're going to go to our skills, and we're going to paste those skills. Now, what I like to do is since we have uh, all of our other skills overrided, I want to uh, leave some space for, for my skills. But I also want to reference these in the same order. So I can see it starts at 1 and works our way down to 35. So what I want to do is change my maximum to about 200. And then I want to go all the way to 101 and paste them here. Now, obviously, you can put this in any order you want. But this leaves me space to add my custom skills that I'm going to add. But it also lets me scroll down so that I can look at the templates without having to switch projects. So even if I only have one project open, I can look at, okay, for this instant skill, he's using this note tag. If I wanted to do the emulate, okay, that was using these note tags. And it's just going to give you a frame of reference that you can use. There's a whole lot to learn, but... Um, and. But there's, this plugin has got so much power and capability, uh, I definitely definitely recommend you check it out. And uh, give Phoenix Kagedisu uh, a thumbs up on the forums. Say what's up to him. He put a lot of work into this. It's evident. This is not a very simple plugin, but it's easy to understand. Uh, go through the, tut the tutorial and watch my future tutorials on how to build skills and everything. And uh, I think you'll be able to make your game uh, with no no real issues. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more tutorials on the Alpha ABS uh, action battle system, uh, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a button underneath the video. It's to the bottom right. It says subscribe. I know you guys know where it's at. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I would greatly appreciate that. But if you don't, whatever. Watch my videos anyway. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to get more involved with the community, you can always go to driftwoodgaming.com, join the forums there, make a post, introduce yourself, uh, whatever you want to do. You don't have to do that, but if you want to network with some people, it'll get you farther. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next tutorial.